Hey Divas and Devos, it's your girl and I'm back for another lace front tutorial. So this is a company that I've worked with I do believe once which is called Love Me Hair and they sent me this really pretty lace front wig with a removable black elastic band. I'll definitely leave all of the information down below but before I even apply the unit I'm going to go ahead and clean my hairline so that way it adheres properly. So while I'm cleaning that check out how your wig will come from Love Me Hair. guys so let's just get into this wig tutorial i'm definitely going to show you at the very end how i style my love me lace frontal with different outfits for different occasions so in the meantime sit back and relax get you something to drink girl or a snack because we're gonna apply this wig so the first thing you know i always do is cut the lace off that's number one because we don't want anyone to know we got a wig on this wig bleached so easily, so nicely. I really didn't have to do much pre-plucking at all because it was already pre-plucked for you. So I always like to just part around the front hair perimeter so that way I can spray my hairspray on the underside of the lace frontal as well as on the outer side. And I especially do this because it'll give you a longer day hold. Like if you wanna wear it for a couple of days, you can wear it for a couple of days. The hairspray that I'm using for this particular application is the bedhead, but I do use also the got to be. Now, even though I do have some of these front hair perimeters or front hair out, I'm not going to be using them as all baby hairs because with this particular wig, you don't even need any baby hair. But you know, your girl do like sideburns. As you guys know, it's 18 inches. It looks more like 20 to me or a little bit longer, but hey, who am I to say? And it's also 180% density. 
Now make sure that you repeat these same steps on the opposite side so that way your wig will be completely installed. I'm just going to go ahead and push some of the hairs back. Like I said I don't want a bunch of baby hairs. I don't really even want any but I do like one or two. I'm going to go ahead and cut my sideburn hairs to the desired length that I want. Now I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite hair styling mousses, which is from the Dollar Tree, the Salon Selectors. Now you do see I am sculpting baby hairs and I'm not really too concerned of the, um, the style that I'm giving them because I'm only going to sculpt them and then kind of like brush them back up because I don't want them sticking to my head like that. Just so that way I can have some type of sculpt and curvature to the hairs that I decide to have out on the sides. As you see, I'm just brushing the frontal portion of my hair in certain directions so that way it's not kind of like blunt straight across at the hairline and doesn't look so much like a wig or lace. And I like this styling mousse because it doesn't get crunchy or hard. And I'm going to go ahead and take the elastic band that I pre-sewn together, place that on the hairline so that way I can go ahead and style this unit. The hair is very soft, very little shedding, easy to bleach. I did leave the bleach on for like 30 to 40 minutes. I did use a wax stick around the edges and also in the parting. Now be very careful with the hot comb because girl, this thing gets super duper hot. I did purchase this from Amazon. They also sell the same brand at Walmart for about $20. Now it's time to give it some type of curl girl and I'm going to be using one of my new hot curlers. It's a one and a half inch barrel and I'm going to be using this bigger barrel because I don't want to spend a lot of time curling it. So I do part it in sections and I do put a little bit of hairspray on the hair. Prior to that I did put a little of the styling mousse onto the hair as well. That way it can tame any flyaways. You want to make sure that when you are putting heat to your hair that you use some type of clips to hold the curl in place until the curl cools down. Once the hair is cool, it will remain in that position or that particular curl hold. Now just to give it extra hold, I did spray some of my bedhead. And girl, I got a little thirsty, so it's always time for some wine. All done with that and of course I did allow a little bit of time to go by before removing these clips. After I did hot curl the entire head, I waited about 10 minutes and then I removed clips. And girl, look at this hair. It's actually beautiful, very soft and very high in luster. I'm really impressed with this. I do believe I've worked with them either once or twice. I'll definitely leave their information below. Now this is where I'm just going to brush comb out the actual baby hairs because you don't want them to sit directly, directly on your head. I mean, you can if you want, but I prefer them to just be a little bit of flyaways. And then you'll definitely want to clean up your hairline if you do have any type of hairspray on your edges. What I was left with was the line of demarcation from the elastic band, you know, squeezing my head too tight. So I'm just going to use my makeup here to conceal that makeup that I removed as well as the line from the elastic band. Girl, this wig, this wig is sitting pretty, honey. I'm really impressed with the lace and I do like the hair texture. 100% virgin human hair. Here's the fun part of the video because I absolutely thought this hair was kind of like really fabulous and you can go with just about anything. So I'm gonna show you four different styles 
that the way I would style my wig with my unit. And here goes style number one, which is just the way that I curled it on camera for you guys. And I'll leave the links down below of all the outfits that I have on from Lovely Wholesale as well. This is kind of like corporate chic hairstyle. And I think this hairstyle went really nice with this outfit. Do so we see how lovely the hair is flowing? Felt really nice at this wig and this outfit. Are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Now for look number two, something casual and really relaxing, an off the shoulder shirt. I decided to go ahead and give myself two twists on the side. I think this wig is really nice, especially if you want to pull it up, because the hairline is definitely great. Just melts right into your skin, girl. But you're playing a game. And this outfit as well is also from Lovely Wholesale. All of the items that I'm wearing is from the plus size section, but I'll make sure to link them below along with this fabulous hair. Now for look number three, something really sporty and super duper casual is my two-piece sweatsuit, which says official, and this is also from Lovely Wholesale. I decided to put the hair up in an entire ponytail. With Love Me Hair, you can definitely do that. You know, the hairline is perfect. No one can tell that you're wearing a wig, girl. Undetectable, invisible, okay? And I thought it went really well with this outfit. Now for the last outfit, my denim jacket along with my Forever 21 dress and I decided to pin the hair on one side and leave it loose and kind of give myself a poof bouffant on the top. Casual but kind of like dressy, classy for this particular outfit. But with Love Me Hair, you can do so many different styles, especially when the lace is melted. So I'll definitely leave all of their information down below in the link. Make sure you check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.